deep craters, dark shadows, eerie quiet. This may seem like the surface of the moon. It's actually suburban Montreal and a testing ground for a Canadian first. Well, this is it. This is our moon yard. Canada's space agency is getting ready to explore the dark side of the moon, using homegrown technology to navigate one of the most unforgiving terrains in the solar system. The attempt being to be as realistic as we can, uh, to try to do what we're doing right now, which are guidance and navigation tests. This is a prototype created by Ontario company Canadensis and one piece of Canadian tech playing a crucial role in NASA's Artemis program, which will include Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen's upcoming lunar voyage. Being able to, to lead Canada's first rover mission to the moon is just... Uh, yeah, we're just thrilled with that. The Canadian Space Agency has tried to replicate the surface of the moon as best it can here, but there are some things it can't replicate. The rover will have to withstand temperatures as hot as 100 degrees and as cold as minus 200. Then, peer into those shadowy pockets in search of a key component, ice containing water, which could possibly be used to produce fuel. There's a lot of oxygen all over the moon, but we until recently believed that there was no hydrogen there. Now it seems that it's there and it's, we believe that it's in, in, uh, in frozen water ice. But without going there to actually see if that's really the case, we don't know. Getting there is still a few years away, 2026 at the earliest. Let's say that that'd be at the end of the decade, it's likely that the rover will be at the surface of the moon with the Canadian flag on it. The next great leap in lunar travel, with Canada involved every step of the way. Taria Isri, Global News, Longueuil, Quebec.